Yeah, hi YouTube friends. I had people inquire about this um, the stand here. And uh, see, this is the stand that was sold, as far as I know, by Sony to go with this, uh, this TV. And the stand says it can handle 240 pounds. You know, this, this TV weighs 238 pounds. So, I mean, it's got two pounds uh, leeway there, but, you know, that's what they sold to put the set on. But this is the underneath of it. And what I'm going to do is cut this uh, stair tread here. Got this. This is like about a inch and an eighth thick, I guess. And I'm going to cut this as precise as possible. I got another one. And I'm going to glue glue this down on the bottom side of this the stand but before I glue it I'm gonna countersink some uh, wheels onto here I want to have the, the wheels I'm gonna use about six of them that was my knees cracking when I bent down but that's what I'm going to do and uh, put put the wheels on here countersink it so that I could glue this on flat and then uh, That'll be good. Then I'll have to stand on wheels. Yeah, it's going to be slow cutting, but I'm going to use this here uh, jigsaw here. And uh, I can't film and hold it at the same time, but I'm going to do that to do come here, go around this curve on the inside here. And then go down there. Probably used uh, probably used my skill saw to cut this line here. Maybe use the jigsaw to cut that line there. So I'm gonna cut it out, and we'll see what comes out like. Yeah, I put my spare foot there to hold the board, but you see, this is what I'm gonna do. It. Here's the flat edge from the factory here, nice and flat. Nice and smooth. I'm gonna cut the rest of this out, second board, to kind of match around the bottom of this base here. Then I got this little piece here. It's the best way of doing it, because I want to keep the two the two flat edges. So the best way of doing it is to do it like this, and then cut this little triangle piece out very carefully, and that will be the third piece. You know, just piece in there just for you know decoration because when it's the view from the front you don't want to have space there so you just cut a little triangle there to put it in there so I gotta cut this board now too and get on it here yeah so I use the uh, sharpie to uh, to mark it I'm gonna cut on the inside edge of the sharpie I use the sharpie right here because uh, it makes it easier for me to see it so I'm just going to travel on the inside edge, be real careful. Be especially careful on the front piece, which shouldn't be a problem, it's not that long. So I'll get back using the jigsaw and the skill saw. Yeah, somehow a chunk broke out of the wood when I was cutting it. I guess I was leaning on the wood too hard, but I'm going to glue that with uh, good old Elmer's glue all. And this bottle has these made in USA. Some of these are made in China, but this is made in USA. New stronger formula. Just squeeze some of that stuff on both sides there and squeeze it in here and lucky for me it's on the back side, so ain't gonna be seeing it too much really. Yeah, I just uh wiped the excess off and turned it upside down to get some of that weight of the wood itself to Kind of sit there. Yeah, that'll be okay. And then I'll uh, I'll sand it. And the main side's okay. You know, this is this came out very good. The side that's facing the front it came out really excellent. So I'm happy about that. Got a nice uh, nice curve here. That came out good too. So it's just some light sanding, man. This would be good to go, and I could you know finish the project sort of. Yeah, I got a nice piece of leftover wood here. Let's save that for some uh, future project, you know? It's cool.
Okay, I almost made it perfect. Got a little gap on the bottom, but it's not too bad because no one's going to see the bottom really. Almost got it right here. Maybe a little more sanding right there. It's pretty close though. I mean, uh, I mean, once it's painted and all that, no one's ever going to notice it. That's a little off. Yeah, it's a little off here. But it's the best I could do for an amateur. Now what I gotta do is do this. Gotta make this uh, this triangle piece to fit in here. You know, cut that triangle. Wait a minute. It's actually not that big, is it? It goes right there. Right there. Make it make a mark with my fingernail there. I could cut a little square, a little triangle, I mean, and uh, get it right in this hole here. But I may, I may cut it a little bigger, because then I could sand it if it's like too big. I could sand it to fit in, you know, just right. Okay, this may be a stupid way of doing it, but I got the edge right on the edge of the wood. I'm going to use this, uh, this scribe tool to make, make a dot here. And I'm going to make a dot here. And I'll do one here. Okay. Now what I could do is uh, use a straight edge to draw a triangle here. Yeah, kind of like that. And then... Uh, Instead of cutting on the inside of the line, I'm going to cut on the, the outside part. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then if it's too big, I can sand it down. Because I do have uh, a sander make like short order of sanding a little bit off. So, I'm just taking a, taking a stab. I've never done this, obviously. But if I make it bigger, I could just sand it down and make it fit just right. And the other, the other wood that's a little bit off, like I showed you earlier... I can maybe jog that a little bit and, uh, you know, make it so that, you know, one side isn't like totally off. Just kind of make it two sides kind of a little bit off. And I think it's going to be fine. I mean, once it's painted all that, no one's going to really notice that it's off a little bit. You know, unless they're like really looking really close and who's going to look close, you know. So I think it's close enough if it's like maybe... I don't know, three millimeters off on each side or something like that. It's pretty close. We'll see when I put it together. I guess he was Mr. Jigsaw to do this because my, uh, my blade and my skill saw is kind of shot and this should do the trick anyway. <laughs> okay, they actually cut out pretty good. I better sand this edge before I try to piece it in because... You know, I gotta sand that before I, I do it, before I sand the other sides. So I gotta sand that first. Okay, I used that a little bit. Now I'm gonna use this uh, this 100 grit block to smooth out the rest of the way. Best to unplug, unplug the power tools before I uh, walk away from them. Doing a little more like sanding here, like to touch it up a little more. Uh, 100 grit. I think it's pretty smooth actually. But before I paint it, I just want to get this, this curve a little better. And it's, it's going to be good to go. And it's starting to get kind of toasty out here. Sun's moving pretty quick and probably like 90 out here today. So I'll get this done and then uh, take a break, you know. I think I better hold the board here. Makes it work better. Okay, pieces together pretty good. Just checking it again. 
I was thinking about painting the woods separate, like on the edges, that is, and then putting it together, I mean, after I put the wheels on the, the bottom boards, but then I was thinking, um, maybe I'll just paint it after it's all mounted, because if the paint doesn't match up right, I'm going to probably, I'm going to have to, to paint it, and then, like, the, 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 the stand already, see, the stand has some marks here, it looks like scuff marks or something. So what I could do is take this whole stand out. It's pretty heavy. You need like a hand to take it out. The stand weighs like 70 pounds. Ridiculous. But I think um, just paint the whole the whole bottom section together, you know, so it matches like perfect, you know. And uh, but that's after it kind of it's all like put together. So I'll save the painting for dead last. I guess that makes sense. But what I gotta do is kind of match up the the paint so I did get some uh, some of these things from the the box store so I gotta try to match up match it up here and then uh, get some paint like probably like a little bit not too much okay so it's either um, I think that one or it's either like uh, that one and I gotta look at it again but what I'm gonna do here is uh, Put these wheels on here and I think I'm gonna measure this real careful but I'm using a lot of wheels I mean it's gonna be overkill but because this thing like I said 240 pounds it weighs as much as I do I'm just saying like maybe I should use six wheels so let me position these here put one over here And uh, most of these got got brakes on on the things, and I couldn't get all brakes because I cl cleaned the, the box door out of the wheels. Okay, so I'm thinking something like this, like two there and like two there and like two there. And then I'm going to countersink the screws coming from the other side. So uh, I think it would be like pretty good. Just got to measure it out pretty good. But I'm thinking like six wheels kind of around there arranged in a in a cool way. Probably. Uh, what do you think, Cat? What do you think? Okay, each main board here is going to get three wheels on it. And then gotta make sure that the wheels don't hit when they're at their maximum kind of throw here and also since the force of the weight of the TV is coming up this beam here I want to put that wheel right underneath that and each with each of these wheels can handle 110 pounds so I think with six wheels I got it covered very well but it should be balanced pretty good too. So the force beam, got the force coming through there, got the wheel right there. I got that beam there, the force line coming up. It's almost aligned with that wheel, it's close. But that's three on that one board. That support beam there, I got that wheel right underneath it. So that's good. And I got a wheel right underneath that support beam that one right there so the other that other wheel is just like uh, something to um, balance it out you know so it doesn't rock or anything but I think it's good I think the wheels in this position and you know the positions are not totally perfect like these wheels you know match with these wheels pretty close but that wheel just how I cut the boards is uh, it's a little off skew from that wheel but then again I don't think it really matters because um, those are in the back and no one's ever gonna see them really and uh, I think it's gonna be good so I'm gonna mark these locations and get to drilling yeah I'm killing two birds and one stone and uh, using the uh, hammer and the awl method here and uh, I'm kinda marked the center and also gonna poke a little hole there 
Okay, since I got all the holes marked now with my pointy thing and hammer, now it's time to drill the holes. And I got uh, screws and uh, washers and nuts and uh, and this countersink uh, thingy here for uh, for number ten. Let's see, it's ten by thirty-two, and that's um, that's for number ten. So it should be the right one. That's what the guy told me in the store, so uh, he should know. He's the expert, I guess. I don't know.